EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour bring you the best young talent in the world of golf. From Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida and TPC Sawgrass, live final round coverage of the Florida Open. Well, we have already seen three scintillating, sometimes spectacular rounds of golf. By the time twilight comes calling later today, we will have a champion as we check the Sunday leaderboard. Our leader here on this Sunday is our featured golfer. He's got a sizable advantage here as he looks to increase it further. Well, as a young professional, it is a process. You're contending. You're leading a tournament. Then you're sleeping on a lead, and ultimately you hope winning that event. No, do you've been there. What is it like? It's a difficult process to put yourself into. Learning how to be in contention is an essential part of the professional game, but learning how to close these events out and put yourself in the winner circle, well, that's the last piece to the puzzle. Iona Steven is at the first green. This for birdie. For being such a long way out, it's pretty straightforward. You've just got to make sure you get it there. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. He moves to 19 under for the tournament. We move now to the 532-yard par 5 second here at TPC Sawgrass. Reachable into if you can drive the ball accurately. Dense trees flanking both sides of the fairway. And beware of that lateral water hazard on the right. And this round starting off strong after the birdie at the first. This in the fairway at number two. Okay, pretty good shot right there. Didn't quite release all the way out after landing in the fairway, but still, chance for an up and down birdie at this par five. Four feet now for birdie. Yes, can't ask for a better start to a round than this. It is back-to-back -back birdies at one and two. He gets it to 20 under par. Now to the par three, third, 177 yards. Not overly difficult. If you hit the proper shot off the tee, get it to the right quadrant on this green. Without question, you can walk out of here with a deuce, with a birdie. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. So that safely in. It's a par here at the third. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Frank, how would you describe the bunker all along the right here at number four? Well, it's just, it looks like it never stops. It covers really the, the entire length of that tee shot down the right side. The driving's been sensational all week, and here's another one that's going to set up nicely in the fairway. Oh, no. Uh, and that ball not wanting to cooperate, and it is into the hazard. So, with a shake of the head, he'll take his drop, and now with a stroke added for the penalty, this becomes his fourth to the par four. Certainly had enough power, just didn't have any touch. Just going to sneak on by. Oh, 
Okay, finished off there for double bogey. And fortunately, with a big lead already, very little damage done. Frank, the golf course toughens up right here at the long par 4 fifth. Yeah, when you play it off the, the, the back tee, 470 yards, it's nearly 320 yards to that last bunker down the left side. That really has to be in the back of your mind. The ideal tee shot, little left to right. It's been good driving so far. That ball bounces into the rough, so just the first fairway miss today. Coming up, Roses for our leader. How about this? Holding it from off the green to extend that lead. Hole number six, 393 yard. Par four, what's in store for us here, Frank? Another one really where you're just trying to poke it down there. When you stand on that back tee, there's an overhanging limb that you just get an eye of. So if you try and hit that ball a little too low, that's gonna encourage a miss hit. Ah, uh, solid, a good drive in the fairway. So, Iona, this is second from the fairway. 128 is the number we're looking at, and the pin on the left portion of the green. Nicely read there. It is a par here at the sixth, and he'll remain well in control of this tournament. Frank, the seventh hole here at the TPC Sawgrass, vintage peak die, isn't it? It is. Anything other than straight confuses the player off the tee. But there's three pot bunkers down the right side, just inside that last, that last little pot bunker on the left of that. It's actually a pretty good line. Ah, uh, he's got his game face on now. That's safely into the right portion of the fairway. Second shot now. It has to be careful because that breeze can be tricky at his back. You don't want to overclub. Well, the ball's finished up okay, but uh, look how it got there. <laughs> An outside look here for Birdie. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he's gonna stay at 19 under par. Frank 17 here at TPC Sawgrass gets all the attention when you look at the par threes. Justifiably so. But number eight is a daunting challenge in its own right. It is longest of the four par threes. Plus it's just littered with bunkers around the side, the back and the front. That's a fun tee shot to hit right there. You know the wind is at your back. You tee it high and just let it go. Get it up there in the jet stream, and that's just what he did. He's going to love that. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth. And he'll stay right where he is. We close out the front nine with the 583-yard par five, one of the most spectacular par fives in golf. A lake and a bunker on the right and deep woods on the left stay out of that. This hole grows narrower as it unfolds. And that, a good-looking shot there, well-placed in the fairway. 
Now from better than 300 yards out, a second to the par five. Okay, on the green, but let's go leave a putt that will get your attention. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third for a look at birdie. And a very makeable look here. Not too much undulation at all. Maybe just a slight move to the right. Oh, never in doubt. What a great putt that is. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that's going to make this a 234 for the front side. Right now on to the 10th at Sawgrass. A fairly straight par four, but uh, that's not the way to play it. You really want to go to the right, well away from the fairway bunker that runs all the way down the left side. That turns it into a little bit of a dog leg left. Then you're going to come across that front bunker into a green that, uh, well, is anything other than flat. Another great tee shot. By my count, only missed one fairway today, so that's seven of eight. Easy to see that's the best way to play this golf course. This one has a chance to be close. A little long, as we can see, and a little to the right, but uh, still makeable if you hit a good one. Okay, well done. A couple of birdies here sandwiched around the turn at 9 and 10. And if he can finish this out, he would claim his second victory on the year. Here we are at the 558-yard pot 511. It is reachable in two with a long and accurate drive, but offers a lot of possibilities, including laying up to ensure a short approach on your third. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. I'm loving this round of golf. More shots, more touch. Another great one there. You bet. A birdie here at the 11. And after a top five finish last week, he's looking to go all the way and claim victory here. Now to the short par 412. It was redesigned for the 2017 players. Certainly you can drive it, but there is some risk involved. And that's the way it should be for a par four this short. That water on the left is right up against the green. So players have to make a decision here. Well, that tee shot took some working out. The breeze was coming off the left, made the adjustment, and it is absolutely fine now. Okay, a little left to do, but safely on the green. Not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. That one safely in. And it's par here at 12. And that lead already insurmountable. Gonna stay at nine shots. 
Frank, so much focus on the back nine here at the stadium course of TPC Sawgrass on the 17th hole with the island green. I think 13 gets lost sometimes, but the pros know this is a really good hole. Oh, it can be disastrous too. That's, I think, what you're referring to, Rich. There's a big ridge in the middle of the screen that bisects the top side with the bottom side on the left. So even when the flag's on the left, you don't have to go directly at it because that normally causes the problem with the uh, wooden bulkheads down the left side and obviously the water left of that. So something on the ridge can often run down towards the left. But we have seen the odd hole-in-one here over the years. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. And he'll stay at 22 under. 14, 481 yards is a stout hole. This one absolutely requires every ounce of your attention if you're going to get out of here with a four. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. Frank challenging approach shot here at the 14th. Yeah, there's some subtle mounds in this green. Uh, one that comes in on the right, and then another one that starts to come in about two-thirds of the way down on that left side. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. This from seven feet. Okay, good putt. And a par here at 14. And pars will be no problem from here on out, as this will remain a full 10 shot lead. Frank, the 15th hole certainly has the respect of the professionals. But you're right, this is a positional hole where uh, just keep the ball down the left center. You can't go too far, though, because you'll get blocked out or you'll run out of fairway. From there, it's really about knowing where the flag is, what position on the screen, because this is another green that's not flat. If the second shot lands on the wrong portion of the green, it'll finish well away from the hole. With all the elements of his game have been in sync today, a terrific shot right there. It's all about getting it inside that three-foot circle around the hole. That was a really nice shot. We begin the final stretch here at TPC Sawgrass with the reachable 523-yard par 516. More water, more bunkers, more trees, and a narrow approach. Just some of the challenges here. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. So now from just off the green, call it the fringe. This will be long and tricky, but it is a look for Eagle. Shot after shot, more evidence there with that beautiful touch. Well played there, a birdie here at 16. And the lead is now into double digits. It's an insurmountable 10-shot advantage. Frank, as a fan, it's so exciting because it's just so simple as well. Ball's in the air, you're wondering, where is it? Wet, dry, short, long, winner or loser?
And it's no surprise that this hole was an accident. This one was designed by not Pete Dye, but his wife Alice Dye. But we have seen so many accidents right here. Well, he took on the water there, brought it into play, but luckily he's gonna live to tell about it. He's been good all day around the greens. This is second. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. And pars are fine at this point with this tournament well in hand. Now to the 18th hole here at TPC Sawgrass. 462-yard par 4. Frank, and another example of visual intimidation from the designer, Pete Dye. Those wooden bulkheads that go all the way down the left side of 18 give you like an optical illusion, Rich. And there's not a single fairway bunker on the right to give you something specifically to aim at. So you've got to fixate on one of those trees. This is not a hole where you want to be looking at anything other than a specific target. Chance now for another birdie. Mm, that's going to scoot a foot or two by. Yes, what a final round this was from being on the outside looking in to a big lead. As we'll watch and wait, but this certainly must feel like this will be a victory. And that does it for us here at TPC Sawgrass. Great day, Frank. Yeah, a chance for the players to play one of the golf courses that has become so famous over the last 25 to 30 years. For my partner, Frank Navalo, and our entire team, I'm Rich Lerner saying so long from the TPC Sawgrass and EA Sports.